Hello and thank you for joining us on Journalist Hangout on Sunday. I am Ola Jumoke Olatunji. Today on the program, former governor Fayemi fights back as elder statesman Afe Babalala accuses him, Fayeshe and Oni, of failing to develop Ekiti State. Nandekano speaks on his continued detention, trial and health challenge, says his freedom will bring immediate end to insecurity in the Southeast. And later on the show, CJN to receive 5.39 million naira monthly as reps pass judicial officer's salaries bill. Today on the program, I will be hanging out with Babajide Koladi Otitoju and Chris Kendi Uwandu. Gentlemen, it's Palm Sunday. Good afternoon to you. Welcome to Journalist Thank you for, for having us. us. Right. Journalist Thank you starts now. Thank you for staying with us. Now let's begin in Ogun State, where the issue of bad roads continue or remains a source of headache and subject of outcry, even on this platform. A viral video has surfaced in which about 500 pastors were captured, supplicating and urging the state governor, Dr. Abiodun, to rehabilitate the Agrado Okiaro Akute Road in fulfillment of his re-election pledge. Reacting to the video in a statement, the State Commissioner for Works and Infrastructure, Adia Kisoya, so the government has completed half of the Alagwale Songwater Road, while the remaining axis was captured in the 2024 budget. The commissioner stressed that the state government has never abandoned its responsibilities in the area of road construction, having constructed more than 600 kilometers of roads since coming on board in 2019. Let's share part of the video with you. That this road will be done. That we do it to beggar. But now we have not seen anything. Today we want to ask God to remember us. We want to pray that God will remember us. Look at today. See, all the people we are pastors. We are all pastors from this Abadou Kiaro. This is about over 500 pastors. We campaign for God. We voted for him. Yes. And he promised us yes. to give us dividend of democracy. Yes. One of it is that the road will be good. Yes. This Agbadi Okiaro road to Baga, yes. he has promised us. Yes. We came today for meeting yes. and we decided yes. that today this road issue will be settled. Yes. Yes. Every demon on this road oh, yes. that said the road will not be constructed yes. in the name of Jesus, back yes. out. Yes. Gentlemen, uh, well, it, isn't it funny that we now have to start praying so uh, our leaders can begin to rehabilitate roads? roads. Honestly, I don't, um, I don't blame these pastors. I live in the area, and um, the, from Tipa Garage in Akute, as after um, autumn. In fact, you start seeing real, you start going through pains mm. from autumn. You know, after, after Akute, right up to Agbado, the road is terrible. Terrible. People can't use their cars as much as they want. <clears throat> Okada riders make money off our people. We are not even talking about the inner roads. The inner roads from um, from the Lambe or Lambe Junction going inside to Matogun. People have contributed money on their own to compact the roads, fill and compact the roads so that it can be more tolerable. You will expect the government at some point will come to their aid, especially when you can see that they spent their money to compact the roads. 
but that's not, that has not happened. Many of us believe that if a local government is too big, in some states, you will have at least three local governments out of it for local government. And I'm not exaggerating. So you expect that some of these burdens, or burden, some of the burden can be taken off the government by local governments where they are actually functioning. Because across our country, local governments are not doing enough. And it's difficult to blame them. Because some of their funds, it is governors that use some of their funds. That is the truth. Only very few governors don't touch local council funds. And they know it. They may fight over it. They may hit their heads against the wall over this. But that is the truth. That is the truth. The truth is by nature self-evident. So if you want to see real, real nightmare, move from Akute, go to Matogun, go through Okiaro, and then go and terminate your journey at Toyin, Toyin Street, which is in Lagos State. Some parts of the road that leads to Toyin itself is terrible, mm -hmm. and I expect that even the Lagos State government will have fixed some portions of that road. So I do not uh, blame, blame these pastors for going to, uh, to this land. They are trying to draw attention. They've done that in the past. It amounted yeah. to nothing. Remember what happened even uh, just before the election in Songo. Ogun State has some of the best roads in uh, worst roads in Nigeria. Lagos, when you go to the Kurodu area, you will know that Lagos also has some of the worst roads in our country. I think they will be competing with Niger State in terms of the deplorable state of, of roads, especially inner city roads. There is a need to address those problems. I know that Governor Abionu inherited huge debt stock, but now that he's receiving a lot more, from the distributable revenue from the center, there is a need for him to address these problems. And the bridge that they are constructing in the Ojojo Abiodun area, that because it's an alternative road for those who do not want to go through Alagbole uh, to come to Baga, that alternative road needs to be completed. That, that bridge is taking too long to complete. We thought that before the end of December, the government would give it to us as a, a New Year gift. Yes. But it didn't happen. The road has been closed to traffic since. There is a need to show urgency. Before the rains come again, there is a need to expedite action. Let's not always focus on the urban centers. That's true. Because people live in these places and they pay their taxes. So there is a need to assist them and by fixing those roads so that they will be proud in their government. They, will, they, they too will feel that the government has not forgotten them. In places where people have no good roads at all, there is always that sense that, look, we have been abandoned. We don't matter to these people. So, Governor Dakwa Biodun, take this viral video, use it as a point of contact to reach the people and help them finish that road that uh, Amosun started and put so many needless bridges on it, making it to be so expensive that he couldn't complete it in his time. In some of those places, you don't need those bridges. Look at Arifanla in Akute. There is a bridge that they put there. Nobody needs that bridge, you know? And bridges make road works far more expensive. The, you can actually build an estate, you know, at the cost of one bridge. Mm. So whatever the government will do, if you are going to bypass those bridges or redesign that road, you've got to, I mean, deliver that road right. in good time. All right, Sikir, when you saw this video, what came to your mind? Laughable. 
<laughs> laugh -able. You know, I was already laughing when I saw the video. And um, laugh -able that um, it has gotten to this point. This is not what happened on dark climbs. You don't see pastors, uh, clergymen in the United States, United Kingdom, or probably in some other countries, the real countries coming out to be praying that God should intervene, or even China, so that, that God should intervene so that they can have motorable road. It is very laughable. You don't see that. So it doesn't happen. It doesn't. God will not come down from heaven to come and construct truth for us now. It's not possible. God will not come and give us Bible uh, water. God will not come and construct hospitals for us. God will not come down and construct schools. God walks through men. And probably that is what they're work, that they talking about, that let the leaders who have been elected by them to be able to remember them. But it's so sad. And we have been on this issue for years now. I remember there was the, one of the episodes we had here that we are talking about uh, Amos. It was former governor Amos, uh, because if you remember vividly, mm. when he said he promised, I think it was one of his campaign or whatever, he promised that he was going to fix, fix that road. At the, this is less than 40 kilometers. I think it's less than 40 kilometers. Mm -hmm. It's about 38, 37. 30, 30, maybe 32 or yeah, It's less than 40. And we've been on this for years. Uh, but the state government also blamed this delay on um, budget issues. And he also, so, also said... Uh, spike in cost of construction materials. Let me tell you, if we stick to plans, okay, if you stick to plan, mm. most, of, most of these variations, yes, comes, but it wouldn't meet you. Yes. Mm. Because on a yearly basis, there's, it happens, there's inflation. So what you do, what, what normal government or leaders do is that we give a time frame. You are going to ask the contractor, how many years will you take you to deliver on this road? Mm. Tell me the cost. And that is what uh, with all sense of it, that's what Mwike was doing in, in River yes. States. That's what Mwike was doing. He never he, abandoned He doesn't problem. abandon, he never abandoned yeah. any. He will stick to that plan. And to a larger extent, Lagos State too. If you see the successive governors in Lagos State, for goodness sake, um, the, what is this now? Um, what is this bridge? Um, just after Aogba, if you are going to, what's that place now? I've forgotten where. Is it Yanokwaja? That bridge. That's the bridge heading towards, you know, if you're taking up by, you want to, that is the bridge there that was started by the Ambody. Oh, so that, Penn Cinema. Yes, Penn, that is Penn Cinema. That is where I'm heading to. Penn Cinema. That bridge was started by Ambody. But you realize that it was someone who that completed it. Yes, within a short time. Within a short time, mm -hmm. it was done and dusted. Look at also at other places, even in other roads. And the Ambody, same thing Ambody started and completed the airport road. Yes, okay. leading from international, yes. leading from international to up to Oshodi. With all the bridges. With all the bridges. That is consistency. So that is what I said. When I, so when we talk about handover notes, I wonder what these governors take at handover notes. What the one that left, is it that you just have to start your own? You basically, most governors, I've seen one of the governors. Do most that is what I'm saying. I've seen some governors. What they do is that it's just like what is happening in Akwai Bomb State now. If you see the level of consistency in Akwai Bomb, and that is why Akwai Bomb is having a rapid growth. Whichever governor comes, who don't com continue from where Akwa Bio State, irrespective of the challenges they had, with personal challenges. It's not about personal challenges. He continued from where Akwa Bio State, and most of the roads and um, infrastructure that was started by Akwa Bio, he completed it. The guy there now, Umo Eno, he's doing the same thing that um, um, most of the jobs that were started by Emmanuel Odom. He's continuing with it. So that is so. Those are the issues. So this road should be a power. Don't you want to the governors to? Be uh, should have projects that they can complete. You should be able within a time frame. That's what I was talking about. I have four frame. years. I have yeah. four years. Yeah. This road, I'll finish it in three years. Because the more you delay, the more the cost, cost. goes up. Yeah. And the variations come in. If, uh, if, if at the time Amazon started that road, what was the exchange rate? Look at where we are today. Yeah. At the time when he started that road, exchange rate was not up to 200 it, it wasn't. naira to, uh, it wasn't. to a dollar. It wasn't. Today, we are struggling. You know, even despite the, uh, listen, the, the recovery, little recovery of the naira, we are struggling between 1,300 to 1,400. So look at the huge difference. 
Well, you delay a project, you do not prioritize it, you know, time catches up with you, mm -hmm. a new government comes, the government is grappling with its own peculiar challenges, and the road gets, the project gets delayed until it gets to a point that you can't finish it anymore. You now say, oh, look at what, look at what we are facing in that, in that uh, uh, Lac Bole area. It's only one side of the, of the road that vehicles are using. They tarred one side, right. left the other that place puts. on tarred. We are using that one, one part like that. Yeah, but uh, just a bit, to the film, the government, the government is urging citizens to please pay their taxes. Well, people have been paying their taxes. <laughs> people have been paying their taxes. And the question I will ask, when governments say pay your taxes, the one they pay, what do they do with it? <laughs> that should be the, it's true now. They might not be paying as much as you expect, but people have been paying such for goodness sake. If you are working, especially those that are not, not in the private sector, even those in the private sector, at the end of the month, they, they do something from your salary. Yes. But that's a fact now. Because am I lying? Yeah. yeah. People are just paying now. They pay. Most, you are talking of taxes. All those women that you see that stay by those sites, they say, do you know that local government collect money from them to sell yeah, yeah, all yeah. those things? All those women. Those all those yeah, go yeah. side, do you know collect they collect money. money from them? That's true. Those are it's the efficiency of collection, collection that they should improve yes. upon. Yes, that That's what Lagos has done. Yeah. Lagos has not increased, I mean, ta uh, taxes over the years. Yeah. Lagos has simply modernized and improved in the efficiency of, of collection. That collection. To make it difficult for you to escape, if you are, you must pay, you pay. Yeah. Road users, you must pay. Yeah. So that is the thing. If we improve the efficiency of collection, you remove human interferences. Yeah. Because human interferences allow so much corruption to take place. You remove the, or reduce to the barest minimum human interferences, mm -hmm. you will make more money. There are so many people who should be captured in the tax net who are not, not captured. captured. And All right, it's gentlemen. Not their fault. Uh, so our next topic is still about road rehabilitation. 